1am. I grab my bike, grab the bag for the gear. Now we're off down that way to set up on the beach. Right, just put my bike and bag down, ready to set up camp over here. Water bottle in this side, just a pump in this side. Normally my stove and cook set go in there, headlamp and battery charges in the top. Top pocket inside. All I've got is a sleeping mat, a tent and a sleeping bag. That's all I have for this quick overnighter. And in the other pocket was a SIG water bottle with a neoprene, neoprene case, lovely job, keeps cool things cool and warm things warm, so I'm going to set all, everything up just behind me here and see what it looks like, lovely, so just got all set up, sleeping bags ready, sleeping mats pumped up, bikes locked to the tent, so there you are, that's my humble abode for the night, taking a closer look you can see it's quite a structural little tent i haven't put the outer on yet but that sits just in the corner down there in case it rains nice little sleeping area for tonight new sleeping bag bright red one just to get in keeping with the bright orange tent proudly made in yorkshire nice little washing line if your clothes get too wet you need to dry them out shoved everything in the pockets underneath here i've just got a little uh, travel light sleep mat door packs away nicely but yeah that's my uh, abode for the night right another peaceful night under the stars it's terrible on GoPro but it's such a beautiful view in front of me but you will see the view in the morning when I wake up you can hear the tide it's not too far away but I'm just above the tide line here should be alright so fingers crossed on that one we don't get flooded out down here I have got the outer of the tent ready to chuck over if it does have a quick shower or something you know this is England and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the morning peace Absolutely cracking sunrise this morning. Daybreak and there's already paddle borders and canoeists a few hundred meters offshore. Absolute crazy, absolute craziness. It's beautifully warm, about 12, 13 degrees Celsius. No rain. There's quite a few big mosquitoes in my tent, but that's my own wrongdoing for leaving the front canopy open canopy door whatever too early for me oh yeah absolutely stunning absolutely stunning that's my quick overnight camp there's loads of mosquitoes at the back of my tent loads of big mosquitoes absolutely horrible anyway beautiful views absolutely stunning I'm now gonna get everything packed up and uh, ready to go home ready for work but yeah, only a six hour camp, two o'clock in the morning till I think it's caught to five now. So uh, yeah, only a quick four hour camp. Anyway, let's get on with packing up. A gentleman walking his dog just commented, am I going in the sea for a dip with all the rest of the people today? And I was like, no, nah, not today, mate. Maybe next time. Being sarcastic, but... Maybe I do, maybe I go for a early morning swim like, like my mate Michael does. My mate Michael, he's training for triathlons at the moment and uh, good luck to the guy, I can go swimming out in the sea. But maybe one day we join him, eh? 
So there's a sleeping pad, sleeping pad, look at that sleeping bag. I've just woken up, you can probably tell. That can go in there. Then I'll get the sleeping mat, and then the tent in. And uh, yeah, not much equipment today. Not cooking a brew. So it saves a bit of a uh, bit of room in one pocket. Didn't really matter, did it? I didn't use a pocket anyway. So I'm getting on with that. Catch you in a bit. Right, just getting the last little bit of air out of my sleeping mat. Then my skaters are behind you. They're about two and a half centimeters long. They're huge. Let's get all the air out of this mat. Or try. I haven't really found a foolproof method on how to relieve air from mats yet, so stay tuned for that one. Anyway, it doesn't matter too too much. As long as it fits in the case, it's alright, and it's quite a big case for these uh, travel light mats. Oh. Did mosquitoes go away? Yeah. So, yeah, there's uh, quite a nice little case of these. Bigger than they need to be, so sometimes I have noticed with my older pads, the memory foam inside them gets a little bit damaged over time. So that's my mat and sleeping pad. Let's get the tent down. Right, best part of the day as always. Sarcastic, by the way. Packing up the tent. Let's do it. Do little security straps on it. There you go, much better, much easier. Ah, oh, what a lovely, lovely night in a lovely, lovely tent. Great job all round. I really enjoyed that. I do miss my coffee though, so I'm going to go home. Maybe have a brew at a calf on the way, and then get changed ready for work. Let's get this in the bag. How I'm packing my bag today is quite simply tent, sleeping bag, right down the bottom there. I need that out last, so I put it down the bottom and sleep mat next to the tent. Cool, so there you go, that's about everything apart from my water bottle, obviously, in the left hand side, which sits on the right hand hip. Ah, oh, I'm gonna chill out for a bit and then head on home. One absolutely cracking way to spend the night here on Old Felixstowe Beach. I'll give you a quick pan around to the sandbanks. Big golf course behind me. We all know what they look like, don't we? You can see all the Martello Towers. There's one here, one there. One further over the manor end. Across the river there. All the sandbanks are built up. Nice little fishing boat coming along. And yeah, beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so I'm all ready and raring to go. Not really, I wish I'd stay here forever, but you know, got to get the old bag on and hit the road. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have making it. It's been an absolutely beautiful morning to wake up to on Old Felixstowe Beach. If you like this sort of thing, you might as well subscribe and click the bell. If you have anything to ask me, leave it in the comments below. More adventures, that side of the page. So until next time, stay safe and hope you find peace on a bike. <laughs>